So understanding that probability and area under a density curve are the same thing, let's go ahead and look at this example. So starting over here on the left, for the discrete problem above, I'm asked to find the probability of four. And there's two ways of doing it. One way I could use the table, and for the table you just come read across and see that the probability in this particular case is 0.25. Or, if you didn't have the table, you could have always used the histogram. And for that, remember, use the height of the bar centered over 4. Now, you'll notice there's not a 4 down at the bottom of the um, histogram because we're using the class boundaries. But 4 would have the class boundaries of 3.5 and 4.5. So when I look at the height of that spot, I can see it has a height of 0.25. Now let's leave that information there and come over to the right side of the page and look at the uniform problem for the density curve. Okay, so we know that probability is the same thing as area, and I listed it as the area between 3 to 4, and we haven't really explained that yet. When it comes to probability under a curve, the probability of an exact number is next to zero. It's so small we can't even see it. Like if we were to say the probability of somebody's birthday today, at this time, and this second, probably really slim. Like there might be somebody whose birthday is today, but were they really born at this exact time in this exact second? Probably not. So what happens is when it comes to curves, you have to use some sort of range. So like if I really wanted somebody who was born today, I'd have to see the range of being born from midnight this morning until 11.59 p.m. I'd have to do like a 24-hour range to get the probability of somebody being born today. So if you understand that, then we would find the probability of being between three to four, and it's shaded in both of these gray graphs, and probability we stressed is the same thing as area. So knowing that area is length times height, first thing I need to do is find the length. And so in this, case, the length, the distance between 4 and 3 is just 1. Now I need the height to find the area, and remembering that the height is the height of my curve, I can see over here that it's got a height of 0.25, so I can fill that in. Finding area by multiplying length and height, so 1 for length, 0.2 for height, multiplies to 0.25, and I've just found that the probability of being between 3 and 4 on the curve is 0.25. So the thing to notice is the two pictures look identical, and the two probabilities are identical. One was found by the height of a histogram, and one was found by the probability of being an area under a curve, but they're the exact same thing.